How you doing guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach and in today's video we are going to be discussing the changes in the marketing industry for 2021. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome back to the video. So as I mentioned in the introduction, what is going to change next year in 2021 uh, with regards to social media marketing and having a advertising agency? Well, first thing I do need to mention is SMMA or social media marketing or social media marketing agency. Those terms are getting a little bit outdated now because every single person out there that has been hit by an ad from some kind of guru is trying to start their SMMA and I feel like a lot of businesses are basically getting burned by all of these begin. So basically, you know, without uh, going on this tangent here, this is basically how everything goes. Facebook ads guru or, you know, online course creator guru shows you an advertisement, not necessarily you, you know, I understand that you guys are far more educated than that, but just in general, you know, you see an advertisement, they start an agency, um, the, the course teaches to outsource this for cheap, they go into other work, find a cheap contractor, the client doesn't get results, and the client basically leaves the agency because the results aren't there, and they were promised the world because of some, you know, outdated script, they didn't get the results, and part ways and then basically the agencies continue along this cycle because they don't actually know how to run the ads and the clients are far more cautious because they've now been burnt. You know, they spent a lot of money on an agency that can't actually get the results. So that is basically what is going on nowadays. And um, like I said, you know, a lot of businesses are now very, very cautious of what they do. And funny thing is a lot of the businesses that we speak to actually have been clients of some of these bigger agencies um, or YouTube channels claiming to have agencies and have basically failed to get the results. Um, so one thing that I do need to mention in 2021, quick side note, is that the SMMA term, it doesn't really mean much for anyone outside of our uh, industry basically. And more often than not, it can actually be seen as a bad term because SMMA is such a broad term that everyone's starting an SMMA that if you claim, to, you know, if you are genuine about the results that you're getting, you're getting good results for your clients and then you speak to another client and you say you've got an SMMA, that can actually be a turn off. So what I would recommend doing is sort of shy away from the SMMA term and start doing what um, a few other, you know, I've seen a few other agencies do as well and start being a bit more specific with what you call your service, Facebook advertising agency, email marketing agency, email marketing consulting bureau, you know, whatever you want to call it, just try and shy away from the SMMA term. Now, with that said, quick tangent, like I said, you know, it's not really what I wanted to discuss on this video, but I uh, went on a bit of a rant there. With regards to the next year, what is going to change? I think, in my personal opinion, I could be wrong, but I think that e-com will be at an all-time high. I think that um, a lot of businesses, you know, within the e-commerce sort of uh, niche, will you know realize that alongside Google, Facebook ads is literally the go-to uh, platform to advertise on. Um, I've seen Snapchat, I've seen TikTok ads. You know, both those platforms sort of increase as well. But let's face it, Facebook is going to be the go-to platform. Um, alongside Google and maybe even for e-com the platform so Facebook at number one for e-com and moving forward and you know as agencies we can just leverage that and if you are focused on local lead gym and you might have struggled a bit this year with everything that's going on with the pandemic then maybe looking into e-commerce might not be a bad idea yes it is a little bit more difficult the strategies are a little bit different it requires a little bit more of manual labor with regards to tracking the metrics tracking the KPIs etc but there is so much more reach and expansion possible with e-com because you're not uh, stuck within one specific area. So for example, if you've got a local dentist on and you've already targeted everyone within you know, the area of the local dentist, then there's not much more you can do. But if you've you know, saturated an entire country with e-commerce by spending 100K a month, then you can just look into a different country provider that that, that company has got worldwide shipping or you know, shipping you know, that isn't gonna cost an arm and a leg to get that product uh, you know, sent over. Okay, so e-com, in my opinion, will be at an all-time high. But with that said, I also think that there should be um, something said for, you know, basically the contractors 
um, out there because the way everything is going with globalization and digitization, a lot more people are basically looking into the digital world, a lot more people are getting desk jobs, computer jobs, etc., which means that the supply of local or physical labor, electricians, roofers, carpenters, welders, etc., you know, is diminishing, which means that the demand will obviously increase because there's let or not necessarily the demand will increase, but the price will increase because the demand stays the same. Okay, so let me just put it in a simple equation: ten people want roofers. There are no longer ten roofers, so the, the roofers that are available, let's say there's four roofers, can raise their price because there's more people wanting them than there are you know jobs available or roofers available. So because of that, roofers, carpenters, local laborers have got. Um, a little bit more leverage over you know people that want these projects doing so they can ask for more the people that want their project doing will pay that because you know otherwise there's no one else that can do it cheaper because there's less av availability which means that their buying power increases they also have more to spend on ads and you know that way we can also start retargeting those people again because like i said which um, at first wasn't a very high paying job is now actually quite lucrative and if you've got an electrician that's in an 8k a month you know of some project and he wants more projects like that then he will happily you know spend one or 2k a month on Facebook advertising you know it provided that it obviously gets the results and there's a return on investment okay so e-commerce number one the local laborers or whatever you want to call it physical laborers you know the contractors etc might be making a comeback and then thirdly one thing that i do want to mention is that there are going to be some issues with data data compliance gdpr etc um in 2021 you know obviously i think the majority of the digital marketers that watch this channel have sort of slowly been following or slowly i should say um you know have been following the um issue with regards to the data sharing between the EU, the EU and the US um, and Facebook almost threw their dummy out the pram and said, well, you know, if we can't legally, you know, share data from the EU with the US, then we might just stop tracking data in the in Europe in general. Um, they quickly, you know, came back on that statement and said, you know, that's not actually what we were going to do. We're not going to stop tracking data in Europe. We're not going to stop um, local businesses or, you know, small to medium sized businesses uh, stop them from tracking data with Facebook within Europe, etc. But still, you know, it is a bit of a uh, a grey area. You know, where the smoke, there's fire. There's definitely something going on there. So we do need to be careful with what is going on in terms of data compliance, etc. Uh, in Europe, especially in 2021. And we've already noticed a few little changes in Shopify, for example. Now you can actually tick or untick if you want to track. Um, you know specific metrics within Europe. Um, I think by default it is unticked, but we've already had a few clients where we just couldn't track anything from view content to purchase. And then when we checked their Shopify store, they actually had that compliancy uh, you know option ticked, which means that nothing was tracked in Europe, which was you know a bit annoying because it was a, a UK-based business that was only delivering in the UK and delivery uh, uh, or basically UK is still seen as Europe. You know from a data compliancy point of view. So like I said. That'll be interesting to see how that unfolds. For now, we can still track data in Europe, but we do need to see you know, what happens in 2021. So those are my three takeaway points. Nice, short and sweet video here. Uh, and this is where I'm going to wrap up this video as well. Now, with regards to paid traffic, if you have not done so already and you have you know, an existing agency, you've got a few clients and you want to take that to the next level by improving your media buying skills, then I do actually have a challenge for you guys. From the 21st to the 24th of December, you can join my Marketing Consultant Fast Track Challenge, which is basically a challenge that Erin Kaiser and I are both hosting, where we're going to teach you guys on how to get better results for your clients with Facebook ads, uh, with you know paid traffic, social media marketing, so that your clients get better results, stay with you, you know, don't end up leaving you. You can get them a better return ad spend, a better return investments, and so on and so forth. If you want to apply for this challenge, it's completely free of charge. There are no hidden costs. It's purely for educational purposes only. If you want to apply, it'll be in the first comment and um, i'll pin it you know so not in the description in the first comment down below you can apply for the facebook group and everything will be hosted within the facebook group uh, both erin and i will be going live for four days teaching you the ins and outs of paid traffic and facebook ads 
But with that said, there are two disclaimers. We will cap it at 100 people and you do need existing clients in order for this to work because we will be giving out worksheets, homework, etc., and you will basically need to be applying the knowledge there and then. So if you haven't got a client, then there's no point because you can't follow along and you're basically taking up someone else's place that could have actually really used that and really benefited from our challenge. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you've got something out of it. Comment down below what you think is going to change in 2021 in terms of social media marketing or Facebook advertising, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video.